Hello and welcome to a new playthrough of Steam World Build. This is the High Roller Dunes, but we are using a little bit of the Jingle Bolts theme for a little bit of Christmas action. So, we're going to get started and building anew. So, we got some new options here. It's a landmark buildings, our new train depot. So the train will arrive one minute earlier and the train shop gets various money discounts. So that is something we earned ourselves um, by completing our first playthrough. And there's actually one of those buildings to unlock for each map. So something to look forward to. But we're going to get started here. And I think the best course is to get some workers. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave some housing opportunity right here maybe for some workers although we do have some lumber options here maybe i'll put some workers here with a little bit of lumber action or we could just go houses down the middle that's probably going to be the best idea do I have the roads right or left i don't think it's going to matter let's go this side right here We'll leave some roads for the houses. That's going to use a bit of the money. And I want this road right snuggled up against the train. So let's go ahead and fix that here to get started. Whoops. Good thing we get our money back. If we were to change the difficulty of this game where um, deleting things no longer gave us money, that is an option where you can turn that off by making it the hard difficulty. So, something to be aware of. This map has all kinds of, like, seasonal things over it, a mix with a mix of, like, Las Vegas-type items. It's quite hilarious. I got our snowman throwing snowballs. Oh, my. So, we've made it over here. Got our nice road running down the middle. Let's get some housing in. Trying to decide if I want to go Main Street again, or maybe we'll leave ourselves those eight blocks. Make ourselves a little square. I like this idea right here. Can need a little road on the other side, and then we can get our houses going which you can click and drag so that'll do it get get her going we're gonna have to repair this once we have enough workers which they need some some minor goods I think I'm gonna try to place this Trying to decide if that's going to be the best middle, because it'll reach those over there on that side too. Maybe go down here a little, just a hair. Yep, that reaches all the houses. Actually, I am going to move this. Let's, let's put that like right there. And then they're going to want a service shop right here in the corner oh yeah I like it we are ready for a warehouse which we should be getting our goods over here on this side so let's go ahead and place this here keep turning the map around there's this large Welcome High Rollers sign <laughs> uh, to be aware of. But uh, now we can start making ourselves some boards. Once we increase the workers, then we can get the cactus farm. But we got to go cut down some trees here. I'm not taking a real close look at everybody. Oh, it looks like people are in costume down here. 
We got some wandering penguins, but we got our bots with some hats on. Very nice. All right, let's go for some 100%. I think if I uh, slap you down right about there. Is it 100 without that one? It is. I'm going to be building across the road, so I want to make sure this tree disappearing is going to be okay. Don't think I can slip another one in over here. No, just those two. Maybe I should slide them down and leave some room to put something right here. Just looking at the trees it's using but I think we're gonna be good these trees can disappear and we should be fine with our production beautiful beautiful 100% on our first two lumber mills we do have six workers left over we can build some more houses oh we got some seasonal decorations we got the snowbot candy cane place some of this Oh, the position's blocked. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Snow lantern? <laughs> An ice sculpture? Oh, yeah. We got ourselves the penguin shelter. They already got some of these things on the map. And then the last thing is the fishing hole. Super. So our next move is going to be getting enough workers here. That is the goal to get 70. So let's keep placing housing. Waiting on boards. I guess I do need to make the board builders here. The uh, lumber mill. So I could place two of them there, but then a third would be blocked. I think if I go forward a little bit, it's going to be the best way to start these. So let's go here, here, here. Not even sure if I can use all these, but there we go. And they have a warehouse right there. Oh, I lost some fertility when I did that. Because of the road. Hmm. Well, can't have that. Let's slide you back. We'll just do the two, and maybe we'll throw this one down here like that if we if we need it. Let's just delete that for now. I don't think I need it yet. Give them that back. That way our roads are just right here. And now it's back to 100%. Needed those trees. Can't, can't be giving up those trees. So this area is off limits. All right. Waiting on the boards. It is nice that you can kind of plan that out like that, though. Let's look at doing that some more. That's all that's going to fit over there. Maybe we can put some decorations back here. Get a little foliage. Do we have any bigger trees? How big are you, flower cactus? Oh, you are flowery. Got a little cactus family.
super definitely the winterized look to them so as we're getting boards these houses are filling in i like that you can do that that's a feature i never even used in the last one in the last playthrough the things you learn the houses are looking a little different i'm trying to tell if it's just the uh difference in color where it's not all brown but i think they may have made some different skins here I'm not entirely certain So we've reached milestone two and we're looking for more workers. Which they should have some new needs. Cactus water. I'm thinking I can throw in my first cactus water farm right over here. These workers are going to need it. And this is probably a great place for it. If we can get three in here. Hmm. Maybe if I put it right there. That wouldn't be a bad spot. Or... Could we put it right over here? Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. Kind of want to save this area for housing. This area down here is not going to be really factories. I think a cactus farm might work down here. Need the boards. So if we go right there, it does supply a good bit of the houses, but not quite everything. I'm kind of curious if, if I go around the back over here, does it? Does it make a difference? No, it doesn't. Let's look at our options over here. So that's not reaching them all either. The old dirt road conundrum. This would take care of a large portion of them though. Everything except the one around the back the furthest. Until we can upgrade roads, we're gonna have to keep that nearby. Watching the cactuses get thrown up into. <laughs> it looks like a juicer. Oh man, that's hilarious. Squish. <laughs> oh, nice. Are those scarecrows? Yup. Got the scarecrows out there in the fields. Super. Well. This is working on being fulfilled. New milestone. Looking towards 200. Gonna need the charcoal and the train station fixed. Which takes four boards. Let's go ahead and do that. And we can get the charcoal going in right over here. I do remember last time needing a lot of charcoal plants. So, if we were to place a few of them, I could save a little bit more room for some more lumber mills when needed. But we could go charcoal plants, charcoal plants, charcoal plants. That's what I'm thinking. That's definitely enough for now. I'm just ready to build up, <laughs> build up everything. Negative on the workers. Let's get some housing in. Currently these houses are holding 10 apiece, so that'll be 40 more workers. 
could add another 20 right there. Growing the population. There we go. Cactus water reaches all the way down to here. I might need to place some more farming over here. If I've got room for the board, or the, for the fields, I think I can make that work right here. We can go fields, fields, fields. Oh, and we're ready for the engineers. So once they're all happy, we can upgrade. We are using a lot of logs right now. I do have some more areas available for that. Let's just go ahead and remedy this. Do I want to place you... All right, that's still at 100%, and we got this here going as well. This is our beautiful lumber production area. Grow, grow, grow. 58. All right, let's look at upgrading some of these. What are you not getting? Oh, service. Well, once I get roads, you should be good. But for now, I think I'm just going to take this <coughs> center strip. Because you all, if I remember right, you're going to want the whiskey and some other production items that I just don't have yet. Oh, a snowball. Snowballs are the new tumbleweeds. Let's upgrade you. I'm waiting on boards. Oh, you need your farm, your fields. There we go. You should be juicing up some cacti. You know, come to think of it, these guys over here were getting enough cactus water. They were only missing the service shop. Clicking on these does show me what is being serviced. So the service shop is uh, loan use to the to the workers. The goods are still needed by the engineers, but when you click on it here, it shows you what houses need this service. So once I get roads, I can kind of isolate where I need everybody. I'm just working towards that upgrade. Looking for 70 engineers next. So, that are going to want the moonshine. They need their moonshine to make them happy. 
I'm thinking... You know, this might be a better area for a little bit of a worker development since they don't require much. Just a little cactus. Charcoal, which I'm producing. Access to the train, and then they just need their two shops. Those, those three buildings nearby. Well, these two buildings nearby, honestly. So I'm feeling like this might all be better served as engineer area and put some workers up in this little more isolated area, but it is beautiful. Got a beautiful view. I'm thinking that might be a good move. Let's go ahead and prepare this area in case we were to do something like that. See what it looks like. Yeah, I think we could do that. As we get boards, we're going to continue to upgrade a few of these two engineers. And they're wanting their whiskeys and their saloon. I'm trying to decide where to place this next bit of industry. Should I keep it all on this side? I got lumber there. Got more trees here. I do have this area back here. I could probably fit those in, but I was keeping that for lumber production. Maybe I should choose a new area. Decisions, decisions. That's pretty isolated. Let's not go back that far. I don't remember these buildings requiring a whole lot other than the uh, sand access, so... Now I'd have to bring a road all the way over here, but I think that'll be okay if I do my whiskey production over here. Well, putting a road here make this unusable. It does not want to go into that next spot, so... Fertility. I just need to slide it forward. It is a long ways from <laughs> whatever's going to be going to it, so maybe I should go ahead and take care to uh, get a warehouse over here. This is maybe one of the harder things to place. It's so needy. Actually just watching the fertility change on these as I do that. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Driving me absolutely bonkers. Maybe I should put industries kind of down here behind uh, the mine shaft, actually. I think I like that better. Let's just delete these. And I'm not actually going to go all the way around the mine shaft this time. 
Just make it like a little central square. I like that. I'm not sure if this grid is right, so I'm not, not going to go bonkers with it just yet. But we're going to kind of retake it over here on this side. So it says it's at 100% right there, which I can deal with a little bit of that, but it just readjusted itself. All right, hopefully that'll do it for my boys. Such a hard decision to make. Like, where am I gonna put these guys? Putting them anywhere over here is going to adjust their fertility, which this one's already down to 79%. Oh my gosh. Does anyone in that corner make you happy? No. Does anyone over here make you happy? Going that way, yes. Right here, 99%. Oh, you're actually at 100% there? I figured the building would have you all messed up. Well, let's do that. Engineers, 8 to 10. Oh, we're missing some engineer workers. Okay. Well, perhaps we shall just upgrade a few of you. There we go. Oh, uh, now I'm short on workers. My gosh. There's a row of houses. There we go. Keep filling it in. Keep plugging away at the housing situation. 100%. 100%. Okay. Now we need to make some glass blowers. And these industries take up a little bit of room. That's going to encroach upon your satisfaction. So they're both still happy right there. I can deal with that. The last thing they're going to need is a saloon. Let's see if we can put this in over here. Right behind the service shop. Oh, yeah. Got our services going in. 
let's check the trains deals. Ooh, warehouse simultaneous deliveries. Okay. Lower workforce by 90%. That's actually a really good card. What are you missing? Oh, not connected to a warehouse. My gosh. Can't actually slide you in right there. Can I make you work? That would do it. Let's do that. You're going to be my factory warehouse. This one's actually going to get moved. Although I need it for the cactus water, I believe. We'll, we'll let you ride. You're going to ride. Will the cactus water be served by that one? Hmm. Slowly waiting on the production, but uh, I think this is a good place to leave it off for now. So, waiting on the boards to come in. Once the boards come in, then we can move on up in the world. Let's check our production. The coal is off the charts. Lumber is off the charts. It's at a plus eight. So, we're looking good. These boards not stockpiling very fast. Uh, the boards got used as soon as they came in. That's because we had builds queued up. Tools will be getting used soon to be able to make us progress in the mine. Sand has actually had a nice positive. I like that. Glass blowing, we fell behind on last time. So the next move is going to be the moonshine. Moonshine is going to be, need be needed in our saloon. So the moonshiner is another uh, production facility. I'd like to... Oh, take you. That's what I'd like to do. Yes, grab you. Because once we can get steam, uh, a few of these will make great additions. Can you go right there? Are you going to be angry if I put you there? Yes, you are. What if I put him there? Will that make you angry? No? Short on workers, yes, yes, I know. Short on workers. Got a got a little distillery over here by the glass blowers. Need some more engineers though. It doesn't let me queue these up for uh, upgrades though. Wish I could do that. Oh, we're missing tools as well. Well. Sounds like we need to get our good old mine shaft prepared. Okay. Well, that, I really mean it this time. We're, we're leaving it off here. And next time, we are going to get started down in the mines. So, until next time, this has been Radiant Brew, and here are my Christmas bots. Jingle bolts to y'all. Peace.